So once again, action script 3.0. But now we're going to use 24 frames per second, which is the default for the new animations just by default goes to 24 frames per second. So make sure it says that because sometimes it'll retain the last settings if somebody has been working in it. But the reason we're using 24 frames per second is because we are not drawing this frame by frame now. Now we're going to use the automatic tweening. Automatic tweening allows you to set up keyframes and then just by changing position information, the computer will actually generate the frames of motion between. So motion tweening. We're going to create two layers. So let's add another layer. And we're going to call one swim one. And we're going to call one swim two. Command save. We're going to call this one your last name, the first initial, and tween. So make sure to lock swim two, go to layer swim one, select the first keyframe. And we want to draw a goldfish facing to the right with an orange brush. So we'll get the brush. It just has to be an outline, basically, it does not have to be detailed. And get a nice orange color. So let's find a good orange for a goldfish. That's a good one. And we're going to draw your regular, like a feeder goldfish or the kind of goldfish you win at the fair. And just a little one. So we'll draw the goldfish. We'll put them over here. And you don't need to put any color or anything in them. Just make them look like an orange goldfish. There he is. He's cute. Okay. And if you if you wanted to put some color in, you could, but we're just going to do this fast, so we're not going to take a lot of time on this. So now I'm going to make sure that I've got the first keyframe selected. So click on it, and he gets all dotty. That means he is selected. He is um, image, and he's selected. And now we're going to make him into a symbol. So press F8, brings up the Convert to Symbol dialog box. We want to make him a movie clip symbol. Now, automatically the registration is up in the corner here, but I say put it by his mouth because that will make it easier to work with. And we're going to call him Fish. And just say OK. Now, if you look in the library, you'll see here's your fish. It tells you it's a movie clip symbol. And there's only one item in your library. So that's behind your properties. Library properties. Move them up to the upper area of the left. Now, you want to select frame 15 and press F5 to create a range of 15 frames. Right click on frame 15 and select create motion tween. And your layer gets this nice light blue color. So that means it is a motion tween. You want to drag your fish to the upper left side of the frame. You see this is his motion path. If we go back to the beginning and play it, he swims across. Now that's command save. Let's right click on swim one and duplicate the layer. So this is swim one. Copy. 
drag the frames, so select the frames in Swim 1 Copy and drag them just by clicking and dragging so that they are going to start where the first layer stopped. Well, right click on the blue tween and reverse the keyframes. So now it swims the other direction. Now go to frame 16 here on the copy layer and go on the stage and select the goldfish. Select the transform window by going to window, transform, and here what I want you to do is I want you to change the width to a negative 100%. Make sure that your link is unlinked so it's not constraining the proportions but here you want to add a negative symbol in front of the 100 so now he flips around to the other direction. Command S. And now go to the beginning, turn on the looping, make sure it takes in all of the frames, now play it, and he swims back and forth. Okay, Command S, turn off the looping, lock both Swim 1 and Swim 1 Copy, and unlock Swim 2. Select Swim 2 to be the current layer. Come down to these two dots under the eyeball and click them off so you don't see that for a minute. And now I want you to get the fish from the library and drag the fish from the library and place the fish in the lower part of the stage. Click on frame 30 and press F5. Right click on frame 30 and create motion tween. Select the frame in frame 30 Move the fish all the way to the right. Make sure you have the fish selected on frame 30. Go to Properties. Go down to Color Effect. So in Color Effect, you want to go to the Style Tint. It automatically has a tint of blue. So let's leave it at blue, or you could you can choose any color you want to, but I think blue is a good color, so let's choose a nice color of blue. Command S. Go back to the beginning and play it. See that turns blue. That's color cycling. I'm going to turn back on the eyeballs, and I'm going to loop it and I'm going to play it so you can see it again. There you go. So one of them cycles through from orange to blue and the other one swims back and forth. So let's go ahead and control, test, movie, and animate. There you go. So that is tweening where you have the computer figure out the in-between positions for all of your animation.